Hey, you look completely disinterested. I'm very interested tonight. Hey, because you made it all the way down to the uh, studios of the X. For your beautiful wife. Thank you. Who will say nothing on the radio. Except thank you. Thank you? <laughs> no comment. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, Chris, come on. Let's go on the radio. This will be funny. Okay. All right? Yeah. Let's I go. like you. You're a team player. <laughs> hey, look, there's Ben. Ben's ready to rock. All right. Slam it. Pull the bottom, push the top. That's weird, isn't it? It's like a barn door. Message on the radio. Message in a bottle, indeed. I was stinging the police. Stuart Copeland on the drums live. Message in a bottle, the police on the live and dead show. Hey, I got your message in a bottle right here. Chris, completely disinterested Chris, came all the way from Chit Cargo. That's C H I T C A G O. Just to be on our radio show, can you believe it? I can, because he's, he's one of our number one fans. He's been a fan since this show started. How you doing, Chris? Come I'm here. I'm doing good. Come here on my mic. Doing Here's good. Chris good. from Chicago. Get up on there. Get up on there. Oh, well, I don't want to push you out of your no, spot. I, well, you no, I, I want. I want you. To, I want you to get some lipstick on it. Lipstick? Why? Well, huh. I don't have lipstick on yet, but later on tonight I'll have lipstick on here. <laughs> so, uh, when'd you get in town, man? I got in town uh, about four or five hours ago on the uh, boat, and that was an interesting time. You rode the ferry, right? I rode the ferry. You're not the first one to ride a ferry in the U.S. No? That's, a, that's where the lipstick comes in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was by 801 earlier. But, yeah. Oh, there you go. I see so you're on the right block for that. <laughs> so, uh, how long are you in town? How long are you staying? I'll be here for a few days, and uh, then heading back to the good old Chicago. I see the lovely Bobby Mack out there in the audience. Oh, Mama Mack's in the house. Hi, Mama. Right on. Uh, so you got you you, you're, you pump us through. Where you're, tell us where you work and and, and what you do, and, and uh, you pump the X through every day. Okay. I do. I'm a I'm a broom pilot at the uh, Huron <laughs> Street Lofts <laughs> in Chicago, and uh, they listen to you in the elevator, laundry room, and. Uh, other places in the building that I can pump in the uh, X104.9. Very cool, man. We appreciate that. That's awesome. They want to know who the uh, most eligible bachelor is, too. I've tried to explain it to him. I'll send pictures. Send me their pictures first, and I'll decide which <laughs> pictures I'll send to them. There could be some money in that. Yeah, there could be, absolutely. <laughs> Chris has been uh, listening to us since way before I met them. Then we got to meet, which was every bit as cool as anything. It was uh, Red Dog playing down with Sparky at Willie T's. We played with the Zen drum. We had a big fun time. Uh, good time. I mean, he's been here a lot for someone that lives in C H I T A G O. Yeah, Chicago. Chicago. Yeah. yeah, and now Red Dog left me. Yeah, he's up there in Pennsylvania. Some way, where? He's got a new girlfriend. Did you see that on Facebook? I saw that. Yeah, yeah. it's like yeah. a serious yeah. Red Dog. Wait, wait, a new girlfriend? His left hand or his right hand? No, <laughs> she has, she's an actual human being girl. Oh, wow. I'm pretty impressed. Yeah, I saw Very her cool. picture. She's, she's pretty. I wish him all the best. Yeah, she is a pretty girl. I'm My wife's telling me I'm not close enough to the microphone. Well, I'm a broom pilot. Not yeah, a yeah, yeah. What do I know about? He doesn't have to stand <laughs> that close to the broom, you know? No. Yeah, plus, you know that boat trip I took? You want my mouth that close to this microphone? Wait, wait, I want to hear this. So you came over from what, Naples? Uh, no, from, uh, yeah, from uh, Fort Myers, and uh, it was, I don't know, it seemed like 25-foot swells or something. <laughs> they tell me it was only a few inches, but <laughs> it was enough for me. <laughs> and so I spent a good portion of that ride in the bathroom. And uh, oh, Okay, and then you get here to the hill. Not that we're dropping names, of course, oh, yeah, right. <laughs> but room Perez. 426 does not exist. Yeah, isn't that the, you, I don't know if you ever saw the movie Oh God, where there's a, you know, they go to like the 17th floor and there's only five floors in the building. She gave us a room 426, and there is no 426. We're searching. Everyone's searching. The maids are searching. <laughs> I'm like, this is the invisible room. <laughs> oh, I know what that 426 is the broom closet. Well, it's like 110 on a job application. You know, it means no. Maybe they were going to try to throw us out. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. So they, they booked you in a room that didn't even exist. Yeah. But, but we did find a room. It's pretty nice. They gave me a double even, so. Cool. Well, you're cruising. Yeah. I'm Welcome right. back to Key West, Chris. Thank you. Man. Thank you. And I hope you're enjoying this uh, sultry weather. <laughs> what was it about 110? <laughs> What's the weather like up there in, in Chicago? Probably snowing. 
It's oh. been cold. I know oh, well, it's cold screw that. Right now, this is, I'd rather, you know, you can take all your clothes off. You can only put so much stuff on, you know? Don't believe me, nobody wants to see me with my clothes off. Just ask my wife. <laughs> Wait, didn't you pose last year with one of those spandex G-strings that hang down the middle? And Oh, that wasn't you. I, if it was, wherever I did it, went broke. <laughs> <laughs> People pay me to put my clothes back on. Here. Right. Not like the bare assets. You're right like yet. a reverse Chippendale yeah. dancer. Right. Huh? Yeah. Put right. your clothes on. I'll give you 10 bucks. I'm built like a Chippendale, you know, sofa. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's about as close as it gets. All right. Uh, Chris's boss up there, uh, ex-boss, said uh, he wanted to hear some Marley. We don't have that yet. We'll find it. I've got, some live, I've got some live Marley coming we, up. We got some live Marley coming Here, up for we'll you. Flip it around. Can you flip it? Let's do it right now. Oh, I we're going to flip it. This is for you, Chris. Power. This is for, you want to yell to him? Yes, please. Rob Brahms at Record a Hit Entertainment. Ironic, isn't it? And he wants to hear the uh, Tower of Power, but he'll sell for Marley. Again. Hey, Marley's good. I don't think I have live Tower of Power to fit on the show. I saw Tower of Power uh, uh, open up for... Um, uh, B.B. King. B.B. King. Yeah, it was a great show. I saw Tower of Power play with someone. Oh, no, that was in Miami. I was on acid at the time. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> no, I, I don't know if that really happened or not now. It might have. All right, cool. So Bob Marley for uh, Chris's former boss. Is that who it's Yep. Yeah. Right on. Here's some live Marley. Natural Mystic live on the Live and Dead show. The X1049 WXKW. Key West, Florida. Paradise, USA.